Hello everyone, welcome back to part two of our allegation medial lesson. In part one, we were introduced to question number one and what allegation medial is. And as promised, this part deals with solving questions two and three. So if you have any questions about what allegation is, refer back to that first video before watching this. Question two reads, what is the percentage of zinc oxide in an ointment prepared by mixing 200 grams of 10% ointment 50 grams of 20% ointment and 10 grams of 5% ointment. So we learned that to solve problems using the allegation medial method, you have to find out the amount of active ingredient for each of the substances that make up the mixture. And you find the active ingredient by taking its quantity and multiplying it by its concentration. Once you have all the active ingredients of all the parts, you sum them up and that should equal to the amount of active ingredient found in the final mixture. So with all that being said, this particular mixture consists of three parts. We have 200 grams of 10%. So 200 grams, this is part A, we'll call it part A, part B later. So 200 grams and it's 10% concentration. We also have one that's 50 grams and it's 20%. And we have one that is, or a part that is 100 grams and it's 5% of this zinc oxide. The next thing that I'll do is make each of these percentages into a decimal by dividing them by 100%. So if I divide this value by 100%, I end up with 0.1 this one is 0 0.2 and this one is 0 0.05. Let's interpret what this means. 0 0.1 tells us the amount of zinc oxide in grams per one gram of that part of the mixture. And similarly, 0 0.2 represents 0 0.2 grams of zinc oxide per one gram of the second part of the mixture. And this is 0 0.05 grams of zinc oxide per one gram of the third part of the mixture. So by multiplying 200 and this value, we end up with the amount of zinc in 200 grams, as opposed to only a single gram. So let me show you what I mean. If I multiply 200 times 0.1, you don't need your calculator for this, but I'm just showing you anyway. You get 20 grams of active ingredient within only the 200 gram part. And similarly taking 50 and multiplying it by 0.2, there are 10 grams of zinc oxide within that 50 gram part of the mixture. And 100 times 0 0.05 is 5 grams of zinc oxide per that 100 part of the mixture. So these are the active ingredients of each of the parts. And like I said, you will add these up. So I have 20 plus 10 plus 5, and that's equal to the amount of active ingredient found in the final mixture. Now we don't know the percentage of zinc oxide of when all three of these parts are mixed. But we do know that if you mix all three parts, you'll end up with 200 plus 50 plus 100. So that's 350 grams in total. But we don't know the concentration. So using some algebra, some basic algebra, we say 20 plus 10 plus 5 makes 35. 35 grams of zinc oxide is equal to 350 grams of ointment times C, which is what we're looking for. If I divide both sides by 350 grams of ointment, this will cancel out with that. And we get 35 divided by 350, which makes 0.1. 0 0.1 grams of zinc oxide per one gram of ointment. Now, if they want you to represent this as a percentage, you simply multiply by 100%. This equates to a 10% concentration. 
That's the answer to question number two. Let's move on to question number three. What is the percentage volume per volume of alcohol in a mixture containing 50 milliliters of turpin hydrate elixir? And it has a concentration of 40% volume per volume alcohol. 400 milliliters of theophylline sodium glyconate elixir, which is 21% volume per volume alcohol, and sufficient simple syrup to make 1,000 milliliters. All right, so here we have three parts. We have part A being what I'm highlighting in yellow, part B in green, and part C is this simple syrup. Notice that the simple syrup is somewhat of a dilutant where it doesn't have any alcohol at all. Let's write this information down. We have part A and I'll dedicate this space. Part A is 500 milliliters and it is 40%. Part B is 400 milliliters and it is 21%. And part C is 100 milliliters, right? Because the difference between 1000 and these two summed up makes 100. 100 milliliters of simple syrup and it has a percentage of zero. What we will do is multiply 500 by 0 0.4, 400 by 0 0.21, and 100 by zero, which makes zero. Using our calculator, 500 times 0.4, makes 200, so there's 200, and it was volume per volume, so 200 milliliters of alcohol within that part of the mixture, and multiplying 400 times 0.21 makes 84, so 84 milliliters of alcohol within that part of the mixture, and in this part of the mixture, there's 0% alcohol. I'll add up these three values, and we get 284 milliliters of alcohol is equal to 1,000 milliliters of the final solution. And we don't know its concentration, but remember, if you multiply the quantity times the concentration, you get the active ingredient. So I'll just write down C here. That's what we're looking for. Dividing both sides by 1,000 milliliters of solution. gives us 0 0.284 milliliters of alcohol per one milliliter of solution. That's the concentration and written as a percentage, you multiply this by 100%, you get 28.4% volume per volume. That's the amount of alcohol as a percentage in the final solution. If you have any questions, please use the comment section below or our website, which has tutors that will help you for free to answer your problems. All right, so we'll see you there or feel free to comment below and I'll help you out here. Talk to you all later.